Oh, I think I see it already. Yo, I think, I think, the, oh, do you see it? Damn, I didn't know he was gonna do that. What is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know you guys might be wondering why I haven't posted a video in like three Bruh. months, but the reason is because I got a new job. I work at JCPenney now. The vending machine business wasn't cutting it. So if you guys need windows installed, carpets, anything, hit me up. Boy, if you don't get guys, obviously I'm just joking. I actually just bought this van a couple days ago. And before you guys freak out, no, I didn't sell the truck. It's actually right there. Now, the reason I bought a van is because, believe it or not, a truck is not the best vehicle to run a vending machine business. For one, I spent hundreds of dollars every single week on gas, and second, I'm putting so many miles in that truck that I'm decreasing the value faster than I'm paying it off. With that being said, today I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of the new vending machine business vehicle. I'm going to show you guys the inside, the outside, and later I'm actually going to take the entire wrap off because I don't work for JCPenney and I'm not trying to get sued. All right, y'all, let's get right into the tour. So first things first with the back, not sure if you guys can tell, it is way bigger than the first van we ever had. With that van, I think we could only fill up like eight vending machines in one day. But with this, what, like double that maybe? Yeah. 15, 16 vending machines, because we can fit a lot of product, a lot of drinks. Actually, something I really like about this van is that it came with these shelves already installed. So we have two on this side, one on this side, but I think I'm going to take these off because y'all can't tell it's pretty tight in here and I need every space I can for all the product. So I'm going to keep this one and this is where I'm going to put all the extra vending machine parts, screwdrivers, cleaning supplies, and everything I need. Look at this. <sighs> Guys, this heat in Texas is no joke. Those of you that don't know what Texas looks like, this is it. I know you guys see Dallas, Austin, the big cities, but this right here, partner, is Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Now the only downside I guess you can say about this van is that it only has one side door and what I mean by that is obviously there's no door on this side besides the driver door but if you come over here on the other side we do have a door. Now you might be wondering why does that matter? So we could have you know crates for a location here and then crates on that side for another location so we normally just open the door for whatever location we're at. It's not that big of a deal. We got a broken mirror, a tire with low air. Our gas tank is exposed. Yeah, but I think it's supposed to be like that. It says capless. Guys, this I'll is capless. This has a door. Oh yeah. Doesn't have a hinge. I gotta cover this up. You know, I don't want people pouring sugar into my gas tank. I got scared after I bought it because I was like, what the hell is 85? You know, you don't see that in gas stations, but apparently I can use 87 also. I hope, because <laughs> I already did. Let's take a look inside. Now, of course, the van is filthy. There's trash all over the inside. The doors are dirty. So I'm actually looking for a detailer here in Dallas for work that can detail this van and the truck. So if you're one of them, hit me up on Instagram. Actually, let's do a quick drip check on the keychain. Check it out. We got the Sprite can on there. We have the Gancito. We have the Chocoroles and the OG Duvalin. Pretty cool, right? But guys, I'm melting. Let me turn on the van and turn on the AC. Hopefully it's not too loud. It's like 110 degrees out here. It has 110,000 miles for everyone wondering. It's a 2015 Ford Transit. Not to mention, it doesn't come with a mirror. Oh yeah. That is my pet peeve. How is my girlfriend going to possibly look at her eyelashes and her hair? Over here I got paperwork on my dentist stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you guys to know how many root canals I need from all the snacks I've been eating. It's crazy to think about how it all started because for those of you that have been watching my videos for like five years now, you guys know I started off with a small white two-door car. So it's always crazy to look back and just be grateful for everything. Um, so first off, you know, thank you guys so much for all the support that you guys have given us over the last five years. I know I don't post too often, but I promise you guys, I will try my best. But with that being said, let's go over to my buddy shop and start taking off the wrap and maybe tint the windows. Cause we can't be driving around no fishbowl. 
Before we continue, this video was sponsored by Vending Exchange. One of the hardest parts about starting a vending machine business is finding a location. So Vending Exchange actually sends you a text message every single time a business in your city is looking for machines. They send you a ton of useful information, for example, what type of machine they need, their hours of operation, and how many employees that business has, which is great because that way you can pick and choose whichever location you want. I actually use Vending Exchange myself and I think it's great. So if you want to give it a try, they do have a 30 day free trial if you click the link down below. But with that being said, thank you Vending Exchange. And now let's get back into the video. All right, you guys, right now I'm at Junior's Window Tents. I'm here with my friend Gilbert. You guys know him because he actually wrapped one of my vending machines in the last video, which everyone loves, by the way. So today we're actually dropping off our van so he can actually remove the wrap and tint the windows. And possibly another wrap. And of course, I actually want to wrap the van again. I just have no idea what to put on it. So comment down below any suggestions you guys have. Maybe just like my logo really big or just machines all around. I definitely don't want to have snacks around because that's kind of creepy, you know, a van covered in snacks. All right, so definitely we're going to take this wrap out for All right. my boy Jaime. We're definitely going to give you a little good detail, bro, because it's kind of fucking dirty. What are you doing? I'm starting. It's going to take a long time. <laughs> 2,000 years later. Easy. Gilbert, I don't think I need you. Bro, like, this is like hella easy. Just pull it, peel it off. Till the tear comes off. I've actually never seen this before, but they wrap the windows as well. So it has like a design to it, but it makes it so much harder to see from the inside. So I'm going to take off all that and then I'm not sure if I'm going to tint it also. What? Yes, yes we are. Look at that. It's all black. That's, <laughs> no, when I... that's gold. Look at that. That's, uh, that's that Amazon tint right there. <laughs> I also don't know if I want to put my phone number on the van because like how many people on the road are going to be like, oh, I need a vending machine. Like, you never know. I mean, you never know. It's true, yeah. but like... I mean, you could put... No, because then they're going to be calling you, telling you how I'm driving. Oh, yeah, how bad you drive. We should put that on that. Now that you're saying... <laughs> I'm going to need call, that. How's my driving? Call this number and then yeah. call you. Stuff Bro, like, like she has road rage. Like, if I have like a, like a, how's my driving? Bro, I would get like 20 calls a day. I was actually going to leave my van here and support his business, but after I saw that you have the Sani, which I don't even have in my vending machine. Like, you know what? Let's go look at my vending machine. <laughs> Guys, what is that? Oh, Zarka. What does he have? The Sani. Oh, it's not even working. Look. Yeah, I'm telling you, the Sam's Club, uh, Sam's Club water fucking falls from there, so how am I supposed to get a Zarka? Really? <laughs> bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. You trying to bash on me, I'm bashing on you. <laughs> I, well, I didn't know that. It's kind of funny because Gilbert always calls me telling me that the credit card reader doesn't work. And I never believe him because like we come, we look at it, and it's always working. Um, but now I finally caught it. Okay, let me show you an example of what Johnny does whenever he gets mad. When he gets mad, bro, he just does this. No, uh go yeah. get Johnny. Damn. Oh, cool. Yep. Oh, you know, more people die from like vending machines than shark attacks. So really? doing stuff like that, like, you know, Johnny's next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. I got two for one. Bro, three. <laughs> Look at this. That's why you don't shake a vending machine, guys. All right, you guys, so it's actually the next day. We left the van at Gilbert's shop because taking the wrap off was taking way too long. So I'm gonna go and pick it up later, but I'm actually at the warehouse right now because I'm getting ready to sell this vending machine. Some of you guys might remember this ice cream vending machine because I had it inside of a hotel like two years ago until I got kicked out. And I never got the chance to place it, so I'm getting rid of it today. I mean, you guys have no idea how hard it is to place an ice cream vending machine because not everyone needs one. The buyer is on his way right now. The machine is ready to go. It just doesn't take bills. So I'm going to replace the bill acceptor. That way it's ready to go. Out with the old. In with the new. And actually, now that we're on the topic of vending machines, I do want to let you guys know that I'm actually picking a few people to mentor next month and teach everything I know. So if you've been trying to start a vending machine business, but you're scared because you have no idea how to fix machines or find locations, then click the link down below and I got you. We can probably give it a few minutes to cool down. I did have it plugged in all morning and it was freezing, but I kept, I had it open because I kept switching out bill acceptors and coin mix. Cool. 
Do you mind being on camera, actually? I knew the second I saw that Yuha trailer, it was game over because that vending machine weighs over a thousand pounds and it literally took us over an hour just to load up the machine. But of course, in the end, with my high IQ and expertise, we got it done. There we go. And also one last thing, don't ever be behind a vending machine as you're loading it because it can fall on top of you and yeah. All right guys, so Gilbert has been blowing up my phone, texting me like a hundred times to let me know to call him before I pull up because he wants to surprise me because apparently the van looks completely different. So, oh, I think I see it already. Yo, I think, I think, they, oh, do you see it? Yeah. He put words on the side. Damn, I didn't know he was gonna do that. No way. Right. You said you were gonna clean it, but I didn't believe you. Bro, that is, that is not our van. Guys, look, check it out. Bro, I had no idea you were going to do that. I told you guys, you know, we had to leave the van here because it was taking longer than expected, but I guess this is what he was up to. Oh, the shelves too. And look at inside. Bro, it even smells good in here. The shelves are gone, so it feels so much more spacious. We can fit a ton of product. Guys, it's funny because I was literally saying that at the beginning of the video that I had to detail it because you guys saw how dirty it was, but damn, he went all out. You didn't give me enough time, but I was cleaning all this right here. So all the inside, so it didn't give me enough time. Yeah. It nah, it's here. way more than I expected, so I appreciate it. It was, it was like so dirty. Put this, I don't know if I want to like point it out, but you know that every time you help me out in videos, like I, there's a couple, it's only a couple people, but they kind of hate on me because they always say like, oh, like I'm pretty sure Hyman doesn't pay him or, you know, um, <laughs> stuff like that. Right. So I want to make sure I do. <laughs> no, it's, it's like really confidential because this is a friendship that we have, bro. To That's what I'm you. saying. Like a lot of people don't know that we've been friends since like sixth grade. So obviously, you know, we support each other's businesses. Now, of course, we still want to get the entire thing wrapped. Me and Gibber were talking about how we can maybe do like a cyan black and then just with our logo. But again, comment down below. What do you guys think? Shout out to Gilbert. You guys know every time I need something wrapped or something similar, he always comes through. And of course, I'm going to pay him off camera. But also shout out to his shop. If you guys need your window tinted or car wrapped, come down to his shop in Burleson, Texas. Do not text me. Hey, can I have Hyman's number? They'll be asking you that, right? Do not text me, hey, can you tell me when Jaime's gonna be there so I can pull up to? Like, don't do that, you know. All I ask whenever you come and get your window tinted here is use my vending machine inside. My machine's inside, I got drinks, I got snacks, if you know, buy water works. if the car reader works. All right, everyone, that is gonna be all for today's video. I hope you guys like the new van. And if you see us driving around in Dallas, honk or something, just don't follow us. And in the next video, of course, we're gonna put the new van to good use and go and collect cash from some of my vending machines. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.